Good day to you, my dear brothers and sisters. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. This is Father Ron Sandoval, SVD, and I welcome you all to this moment with Jesus, the Word of God. Today is June 20, 12th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Samahan niyo po ako sa ating pakikinig at pagninilay sa Salita ng Diyos. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. A reading from the book of Job. The Lord addressed Job out of the storm and said, Who shut within doors the sea, when it burst forth from the womb? When I made the clouds its garment, and thick darkness its swaddling bands? When I set limits for it, and fastened the bar of its door, and said, Thus far shall you come but no further, and here shall your proud waves be stilled. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 107. Give thanks to the Lord. His love is everlasting. They who sailed the sea in ships, trading on the deep waters, this saw the works of the Lord and His wonders in the abyss. Give thanks to the Lord. His love is everlasting. His command raised up a storm wind which tossed its waves on high. They mounted up to heaven. They sank to the depths. Their hearts melted away in their plight. Give thanks to the Lord. His love is everlasting. They cried to the Lord in their distress. From their straits He rescued them. He hushed the storm to a gentle breeze, and billows of the sea were stilled. Give thanks to the Lord. His love is everlasting. They rejoiced that they were calmed, and He brought them to their desired haven. Let them give thanks to the Lord for His kindness and His wondrous deeds to the children of men. Give thanks to the Lord. His love is everlasting. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the love of Christ impels us once we have come to the conviction that one died for all, therefore all have died. He indeed died for all, so that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for Him who for their sake died and was raised. Consequently, from now on, we regard no one according to the flesh, even if we once knew Christ according to the flesh. Yet now we know Him so no longer. So whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel Antiphone. A great prophet has risen in our midst. God has visited his people. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. On that day, as evening drew near, Jesus said to his disciples, Let us cross to the other side. Leaving the crowd, they took Jesus with them in the boat just as he was. And other boats were with him. A violent squall came up and waves were breaking over the boat so that it was already filling up. Jesus was in the stern, asleep on a cushion. They woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up, rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, Quiet, be still. The wind ceased and there was great calm. Then he asked them, why are you terrified? Do you not yet have faith? They were filled with great awe and said to one another, Who then is this whom even wind and sea obey? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The readings that we have for today are an invitation for us to have great faith in God to put our trust in God. Lahat tayo inaanyayahan para magkaroon ng malalim at tunay na pananampalataya 
sa ating Panginoong Diyos. The human tendency, and sometimes that is where our problems are lying, is the, the tendency to be in control of everything. Tendency to control everything in our lives, to control our lives, to control everything. But from the deepest portion of our heart, we know that we do not have control over this. We're just created beings. There is a creator who is in control of all and that should be bring that should bring us into our consciousness. We are just created beings. We do not have control of the mind of the creator. We do not have control of anything that the creator would want to have in our world, which is for our own good. The gospel is a para is it's an episode from the gospel of St. Mark where in Jesus invited his disciples to go to the other side of the lake. And so they went, they rowed a boat, and in the evening, there were great waves and the high winds. And they were afraid, of course. And it was told in here, the, the boat was filling up with water. At the same time, Jesus was at the stern and he was asleep. And of course, humanly speaking, kahit tayo rin, the disciples were afraid. And they, they woke up Jesus. They woke up Jesus. Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? No. And what Jesus did? No. He woke up and then he stilled the waves and the water. Quiet. Be still. No. And there was calm. And the disciples were in awe and asked themselves, each other, Yeah, wow, who is this man? Who then is this whom even wind and sea obey? We are traveling in this world. We are as if in the boat. And we, I look at the boat as the church, and we are in the church, and we are, and we are with Jesus, definitely. We are with Jesus in the church. But it will not prevent us from be being beset with problems. We will always have problems. This is an imperfect world. It is not, we cannot have a perfect world, a world without problems and without difficulties in this world. And so, it's a reality. We will always be faced with problems. That's beyond our control. <laughs> That's beyond our control. Now, our control is how we face the problem. Do we allow the problem to consume us? Or do we stay calm and come to Jesus and ask Jesus to help us with that faith in Jesus that Jesus will do something for us with the present situation that we are in. The boat, um, I just read somewhere that a boat will not sink unless it is filled with water, unless water comes in. As long as it is empty with water, it can be toast, okay, but it will not sink. Magandang pagnilayan yun eh. When we are in that boat of problem, do we allow the problem to come in? <laughs> y- yun kasi, do we allow the problem to come in? And then we will sink in the problem if we allow the problem to come in. We realize that there is the problem. We realize that there are the waves. But as long as we're doing everything that the water, that the boat will not be filled with water, it will not sink. As long as we do something that the problem will not really be in a magnitude that we will not be able to handle it, then it will not consume us. The problem is there. The waves are there. Realities. But Jesus is also there. Jesus is also there. Whom, to whom our faith can really protect us in His own ways. Not probably in the ways, ito na naman. Sometimes we even dictate God to, to okay, God, you, have, you are in control, but Please do this. Please do this. This is what I want. No? Eh, hindi ganun. When we ask God to have control of our lives, we ask Him. We, we give Him our full trust and we let Him do His thing in His own time, in His own will, in His own style, not our will. Lord, let Your will be done. Dinanda sa Latin lagi yan eh. But it does not mean that we will be freed of the difficulties. But we will be freed of being sink, of sinking into that and into despair and frustration if we will not allow God to take control of our lives. Look at that, my dear brothers and sisters. Problem will always be there. 
But if we allow this problem to, dis- to, to put us into desperation, to put us into despair, the, to, to make us lose hope in life, then that is, our, that is from our side, that's our fault. Because there's still another option of bringing this problem to God. We do what we can do. But we f- our faith in God will tell us that we will survive this. We will, we will come out of this. Again, in God's time, in His ways. No, not in our ways, not in our time. But we will be coming out of this problem. That is the point. The first reading from Job. Um, Job is, we know the story, Job is a very... Um, just man, napakabuting tao niya, and then he was suffering so much. And his friends is telling him, look, you are so good, and yet God did this to you. Maybe it's, it's about time not to trust that God. Ang gali, ang buti-buti mo ng tao, and yet, ang dami pa rin mga problema dumating sa'yo. And you know the problems. His children were, were killed. Uh, he, he, he has, he is suffering from a big disease. His, all his, his properties were gone. And then, he has all the reasons to, Really, to, to, to doubt God already. But then, it is as if um, God talking to him, Theophany, God talking to him and said, Ang sabi lang ng Panginoon, Where were you? Okay, you have your problems, but where were you when I created the world? Where were you when I separated the water from the land? Where were you when I said to the water, Halt, hanggang dyan ka lang? Where were you? It is, a, it is as if God telling Job, I am the one who created everything, including you. And I know what's happening to you. I am in control. Trust me. Trust me. And that is what God is also telling us. Trust me. Ano mang pinagdadaanan mo, kapatid? Ako may pinagdadaanan din ako. Lahat tayo, lahat tayo may pinagdadaanan. Because that is part and parcel of life. Yan ang nagbibigay nga ng kahulugan sa buhay natin. No? At yan ang nagpapalalim ng ating pananampalataya. All of us will have something to deal with in life. But our God is much greater than our problems. No, tandaan natin yan. God is much greater, bigger than the problems that we have. Okay, we have our own desires. And sometimes that is the one that brings us to have control. To have the tendency to control things because we have our own desires. But the question, my dear friend, is, is your faith in God bigger than your desires? Is the will of God more powerful than your will? Yun yun eh. Let us trust God. Let us trust Jesus. In the second reading, no, St. Paul is telling us that this Jesus gave His all to us. He died on the cross for us. Ano pa ang hindi niya pwedeng ibigay sa atin? What else can Jesus not give us? He gave us His all. Suffering, shame, death on the cross, He had His all. And we are the ones who are supposed to be handling those. We are supposed, we the ones supposed to be suffering all of those. But He took all those things to Himself out of love for us. The love of Jesus for us. Kaya nga sabi dito, di ba? The love of God, the love of Jesus impels us. No? It's pushing us to the conviction that since He died once and for all, we are also dead to sin because of that. And we should be living our lives anymore for ourselves but because of Jesus. Narating na ba natin yung ganong kaisipan na hindi na ako nabubuhay bilang si Ron, kundi ang Diyos na ang nabubuhay sa akin. That is a destination to which Jesus is asking us. Ang ganda ng simula ng Gospel ngayon, Jesus is inviting His disciples to a journey. Let us go to the other side. Jesus is inviting us to that side, to be with Him, to that side where we will be at peace, where we will be in comfort because He is with us. He is the reason for everything good that is coming to us. He is the reason and He Himself is inviting us to come with Him to that place. But it does not mean that the journey to that is easy and calm. No. It, there will be waves. There will be strong winds. But we will reach our destination with Jesus. Let me speak of heaven. The destination reserved for us with Jesus. Through the church, we will reach that place. If we only allow Jesus. If we only allow Jesus. Let our faith in Him deep. The church... It's always is tossed with the wind. In the same way, ako sa akin, napaka, ano ba, napaka malaking bagay yung 
bangka na nandun si Jesus, nandun na si Jesus ha, and yet it was not respected by the waves to be toast. Hindi na respeto yung presensya ni Jesus doon eh. So, ganun din. Jesus is in the church. And you know the life of the church now. We are being toasted by the waves. Even if Jesus is here. Siguro yun talaga ang reality na dapat harapin. That is the right reality and perspective that we should be looking at the church, at our lives, the problems and the waves of our lives, and Jesus' presence in us. He will not probably solve the problems or any, uh, at once. He will allow us to suffer. He will somehow give us the chance to be tossed by the wind. But He is there to still it, to quiet it out for us. Yung ma-realize lang natin na, Lord, I need you. Lord, lumulubog na ako. I need you. Yun lang ang kailangan marinig siguro ni Jesus. And then He will come to the rescue. Until we recognize the goodness of Jesus, His power over us, over and above, the power that we have in ourselves, and our will, our tendency to be in control of everything, then probably Jesus will stay afar from us, only looking at us. But if He is in our lives, if He is in my heart, then He will be the one controlling myself, my heart, my everything. And that is where peace and calm and serenity will come in. Amen. God is our light and our security. Let us express our trust in Him and pray for all people who journey through life. We shall say, God, in you we trust. For the Church of Jesus Christ, that its faith and love may not waver in the difficulties and storms of our time, we pray. God, in you we trust. For those who doubt their faith and are afraid of facing the future, that God may give them courage and that we may refresh their hope, we pray. God, in you we trust. For sailors and fisher folk, that the sea may be peaceful and generous to them. For all who travel, that they may safely reach their destination, we pray. God, in you we trust. For the community of nations, that they may live in peace and harmony, we pray. God, in you we trust. For our Christian communities, including the friends and members of the Philippine Sigotas Dins Gemeinde, that we may all grow in trusting faith in Jesus our Lord, and that His love may move us to live for one another, we pray. God, in you we trust. In the silence of our hearts, we bring to God our concerns our worries, the problems, and storms of our lives. Lord our God, why should we still be afraid when we know your Son Jesus is with us? Give us his peace and let it last forever and ever. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Maraming po salamat sa inyong pakikisa sa ating pagninilang ngayong araw na ito. Magandang araw ng linggo. No? Sana po tayo magpunta sa simbahan. Ang atin pong online masses ng Sunday ay atin na rin pong ititigil para ang mga tao ay sa simbahan na magpunta. Lalo dito sa Vienna, bukas na po ang simbahan. Ang distancing po ay one meter na lang. That means we can accommodate more and more people into the church. And so, harikan na po kayo. 11 o'clock, 3.30, and 5.30 ang mga masses natin. Alam po natin yan. Magandang araw, magandang buhay sa inyong lahat. Have a beautiful Sunday.